What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So I went over to one of my favorite comic book shops because in the last three days they posted that they got in a ton of new pops. Now usually this stuff goes pretty quickly so I'm hoping there's some really cool stuff left. So we're gonna go Funko Pop hunting and see what we can find. All right guys, so we're inside now and this is their newer pop section where they get in like newer stuff that people trade in. So we have Loki, Asuma, Moomin Rider, uh, Mei, we also have Saitama, Izuku Midori, I think there's two of those. I do kind of want this Saitama because I don't own it, but he is pretty damaged, so I'm gonna pass on it today. We have Killua, Mr. Compress, Kirito's pretty cool. Spider-Man there. I am thinking about this Maki actually because I don't own her and this is the final piece I need for the Fire Force set. Over here more Spider-Man. We have him in his homemade suit, the Walmart exclusive, Rocket, Roy Mustang's pretty cool but I believe I own him. Kilala, Cell First Form, that's the glow one. Cosmic Ghost Rider is pretty sick actually. Frodo Baggins chase is nice too. Down here they also have a Gollum chase, Predator Specialty Series, and Carnage, and another Kirito. I think this is the original one, yeah. Sauron is actually really cool too. We also have the Punisher War Machine, Shot and Stockman Signed, Silent Bob, oh, Grog from Critical Role, that's a pretty cool rare piece. And then lots more anime over here, not seeing anything I need though. That Diana Prince 4500 piece though is nice. Over on the other side of the TV, we did have a Red Goblin, Corrupted Venom, love those. Um, we have Hellboy, Proto Man, Master Chief, Opie Winston from Sons of Anarchy, that's a pretty cool rare piece. Scorpion Flaming Skull, I feel like that's a good price for that one. Uh, Junior, Daredevil, that's a nice piece too. Check that out. I have Electra, I don't have this Daredevil. Actually, do I? I don't remember. No, I think I have the black suit. I don't think I have the red suit. Uh, we have Rudy Sign, Skyrim, Venomize Thor, Gandalf. Here's a couple other newer things they have. Mirio, Tsunade, Toga, Kurigiri Glow, Shinra there, Suki. I hate that figure so much. Present Mike, Leafa, Emperor Pilaf with the Dragon Ball, Endeavor Glow, uh, lots of my hero it seems, so we have Aerie, All Might, Toga, Asta, Carol, some uh, Samurai Jack as well, Great Full Buster, and then we also have some art series, Daichi from Haikyuu, Fei, Mikasa, oh here's a line you don't see all the time, Kingdom Hearts, so we have the Sora, Monsters Inc, Flocked One, Mr. Knight there, Hades, uh, Miss Marvel and Elsa there, Groot, uh, he Who Remains, Modoc, Miss Marvel, a bunch more Disney kind of mixed together here, and then Disney and Star Wars. Oh, I've never seen this sticker actually, Toy Wars exclusive, huh? That's kind of cool. Now on this big back wall here is where they keep a lot of their anime ones on this middle shelf here, so we have some My Hero, Naruto, um, Dragon Ball, One Piece, not a lot of One Piece unfortunately, it just usually flies off the shelf here, Yu-Gi-Oh!, uh, Attack on Titan, Bunch, a Demon Slayer, Boruto. It's a lot of the older stuff, so I'm kind of just going through it quickly for you guys. Captain Planet's pretty cool. Oh, it looks like this is just a good animation mix, actually. More Naruto, Scar, Riza, Juzo, Jet Black from uh, Cowboy Bebop. Lots of My Hero. Uh, Toru. We have a, just a bunch of Tokyo Ghoul Re there. Boruto, Fairy Tail, kind of mixed in. Yeah, just a lot of the older stuff I'm seeing. Over here, guys, looks like they have a couple things mixed in that are new. I've seen some Overwatch, Crash Bandicoot, uh, BTS. What's really cool is that uh, I'd like to buy the World of Coke can. That's actually pretty nice. I don't really care for the ad icons too much, but that one's kind of cool. Then we have the Deathstroke, Bloodsport, Captain Crunch, Jackie Robinson. A bunch of Crash Bandicoots looking like more right there. Um, and then let's look over here. What do we got? What do we got? Constantine all the way up there. They got a Man of Steel Superman. You see that? 30 bucks is a pretty good price. Right here, they have a couple anime chases and exclusives. We have Yoshido, um, Aoi, Ochako, and Hinami. We have Fuego, Spider-Man Unhooded. Ooh, Surter. Such an underrated exclusive from that movie. Love that. Spider-Man Mysterio. Lots of good Marvel here, too. Ironheart Chase, Nightcrawler, Obi, Kevin. Such a unnecessary pop honestly sleepover deadpool just a bunch of different disney ones oh more kingdom hearts we have dark aqua right here they have some of the older anime exclusives we have lumi there goku tamaki glow shinro with fire 50 is a good price alika uh area there mr compress tinya they got a dobby up top there 
Patrick Star. Oh, those are some pretty good ones. So we have Skull from Persona 5. We also have Alphonse from Full Metal, Super San Vegeta, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, uh, Go Tanks right there, Blossom, Buttercup. I'm trying to show you guys as much as possible. Uh, Jose Aldo there from UFC. This is Fine Dog, Ronald Reagan. Lots of great stuff up there. Down here, this is a pretty fun one. The Spider-Man from the first game, actually. I think this is a GameStop exclusive, though. I think it's missing its sticker, if I'm not mistaken. I might have that wrong. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like just a lot of pop video games. If I can get this one in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We got it. We got it. Lots of video games down here. A bunch of Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Sweeper bot there from Destiny. That's pretty neat. Evil Cuphead. Some Pokemon. Apex. There's never... Bangalore. I don't know what that's about. I can never find Bangalore. But Caustic, Pathfinder, Mirage is pretty cool. Geralt there, The Glow, Sun and Moon's a really great exclusive. I'm also trying to see if I can find anything for Bailey that she might need, but I don't really see anything. Just showing you guys. We have some of the new Godzilla Kong Pops, uh, House of Dragons Chase, The Arrow, Adam. Love that pop. Alpha 5 is pretty cool. Bob from Twin Peaks and a bunch of Stranger Things. So I don't really collect Planet of the Apes, however, I can appreciate the pop. So we have Cornelius, Doctor, I don't remember how to say his name, but we also have an ape soldier down here. I'm very excited to see the next movie coming out very soon here, actually. I think it might be next month if I remember correctly. Anyways, the really cool pops. We also have Allison Reynolds here from The Breakfast Club. Uh, a couple Star Wars up here. So we have R2D2, the dirty one, Boba Fett prototype. We recently got an 18 inch pop of that too. Uh, Biker Scout, Hammerhead, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. Look at that OG mold. They're actually remaking this in their 25th anniversary design in the kind of like case thing. Uh, oh, Scrooge is pretty cool too. Then we have Fighter Pilot, some Luke Skywalkers, Bespin and Ceremony. Lots of Star Wars, I'm seeing. Lots of Star Wars. I still want to go back and watch all of the Star Wars movies just so I kind of know more about it, but that's going to be a thing me and Bailey tackle pretty soon here. Here's some other really cool Marvel ones they have. So we have Thor Blacklight, Scream Symbio, Venom, The Watcher, Dr. Octopus, Zola Vision, and a bunch of other just random kind of exclusives. And I believe they have more Marvel over here too. Bruce Banner, Toys R Us, lots of the Chrome Thanoses and regular Thanos. Marvel Runaways, Captain America, Star Lord, Yellow Jacket, US Agent's pretty cool. Uh, down here, a bunch of other Avengers ones, and same for down here. They even got some Eternals. Over in their bigger, like, two pack, deluxe, and like six inch section, we do have the Young Bucks, Fighting Droids there. I've never seen that one actually. Uh, we have a vinyl two pack. We have a bunch of the Harry Potter deluxe pieces, some covers. Oh, the Wizard of Oz Emerald City. Banquet Room, I think that's a new too. Not new, it's like new to this store, not new new. Um, little three pack there. And a bunch of other like three packs and two packs. Kind of surprised that's sitting there. I thought that would do better, honestly, if those directors, because they're so popular, but it didn't, honestly. Nobody really cares about it. Over here, it looks like they got in a bunch of new Harry Potter stuff. So we have Fantastic Beasts over here. Uh, a bunch of the main characters, essentially. Also Crimes at Grindelwald. And then regular Harry Potter. Him in his, I guess, night clothes, and then Victor there. And uh, down here, all kinds of different stuff. Movie pops. Wood Sprite from Pinocchio. Mandy there. Is that the one that has a chase? I don't remember. We have Batman the exclusive with the wingsuit. Night King. And then a bunch of other stuff over here. Star Trek, some Power Rangers. Crimson Peak. Uh, Firestorm over there. Just trying to see what else is down here. That if I need anything, nope, don't think so. If you're ever wondering what kind of Funko sodas they have, they have some Marvel, DC, a bunch of anime ones, all kinds of mixed together. They also have a bunch of Funko rewinds here. This is their like 10 inch pop section, if I'm not mistaken. So they have a bunch there, all kinds there. Oh, that's actually pretty cool from Sword Art Online. I like that figure. We also have Shinobu there. And then they also do have a bunch of other different figures too. From One Piece, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen there. Uh, down here, they have some Ultraman, All Might, all kinds of stuff. My Hero, some Figmas. They have all kinds of different figures in here. I don't always show them off, but I'll show you guys a couple today. Lord of the Rings there. And over here is a bunch of other stuff they have. They have this Spider-Man like mecha suit figure from Mondo, Iron Man. We have a Stan Lee figure, G.I. Joe, Starfire from the original Teen Titans as a paperweight. That is so freaking cool. I love that. Magneto helmet, 
Matrix figures, Alien, Captain America bust, Puppet Master, The Walking Dead Michonne figure. I didn't even know they made figures in the gallery diorama as The Walking Dead. That's pretty cool. DC uh, collectibles. So we have Nightwing and Batgirl, Black Panther. Yeah, there's just it just keeps going on. There's so much stuff in here. Now on my way out, before I forget, because I always forget to mention names of places I go to, Comic Spot Comics is what it is. So you can look that up on Google if you ever want to visit. Hey everyone, so we're back home now from the comic shop and we do have one pickup today, which you can probably guess pretty easily. And that was Maki here. So this was the last Fire Force pop I was missing to complete my collection here. Definitely a really cool one. Honestly, she's not very expensive. She's always been 15 to 20 bucks, but I've always seen her for 20 bucks and I was like, I think I can get her cheaper. And granted, this one does have a little bit of a box wear on the front, like a sticker was over here, but hey, I saved five bucks, so I'm good with that. But yeah, the Fire Force set is now complete. I've completed yet another collection here. This would have been for a cool little glow pop if they made maybe like the, the fire uh, glow around her hands as well as her eyes, maybe purple like a multi-glow kind of, I don't know, that would've been interesting maybe. Maybe it would've turned out bad, I don't know. But yeah, that's definitely cool. Love the purple eyes on this one too. But yeah, this turned out great. Love the fact that it's complete. Let's actually place it in the collection really quickly though. So this is my Fire Force setup and just some other animes I have mixed in since Fire Force isn't that big. So we have One Punch Man, Fire Force, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Sword Art Online there. Uh, I don't really know where Maki's technically gonna go. I guess maybe up there until I get more One Punch Man pops, so. I guess we will just play. Oh, she has a base stand. Is she going to stand? Oh, she stands. So yeah, I guess that's just kind of how that's going to go for now. Now, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Just a quick fun hunt at one of my favorite comic shops. I just wanted to see what they had and see if they still had anything I did need. Luckily, we did finish a collection, which is really nice. And I'm actually curious, have you guys finished any collections recently? And which ones were they? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, that's always a really fun comic shop. They have a really great selection usually of just like statues, Funko Pops, comic comic books, all kinds of stuff. So if you're ever in the area and you want to visit that store, I recommend you go in. And the people who own the shop and work there are usually really, really nice. With that being said though, I'm going to end off the video here by saying a big shout out to all the awesome Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And finally, make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page. So you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.